And next, we're going to have a, a few notes from Standard Chartered, our platinum sponsor, one of our three platinum sponsors here tonight. And we hope you'll enjoy it. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I would first like to, um, my name is Bola Adeshola. I'm the Managing Director, CEO of Standard Chartered Bank Nigeria. And we're one of the platinum sponsors. The Africa team is here with me. We're one of the platinum sponsors um, for this conference. I would first like to commend the Africa Business Club officers for a very enriching and well-organized 2013 conference. Not surprising also, and in particular, for maintaining the consistency of topical content, quality speakers, and the intellectual environment over the years for the kind of discourse that we've had today. And that can only serve to help make our truly great continent, Africa, even more productive in its socioeconomic contribution to the global landscape. On behalf of Standard Chartered Bank, I say well done. For us at Standard Chartered, and more specifically, Standard Chartered Bank Africa region, partnering with the ACB to sponsor this conference was as a result of the instant recognition of similar areas of strategic focus between both organizations. The ABC's ideals of achieving lasting impact, building effective businesses, and being a catalyst for change resonates squarely with the broad strategic intent of our Africa business, which is being Africa's leading international bank. In particular, this year's conference theme, Redefining Africa, the emergence of a new African story, reflects the changing paradigm in Africa's value proposition to the global economy. Standard Chartered has been in Africa for over 150 years, and the bank has established an enduring legacy in our footprint across the continent. For example, our franchises in Uganda and Kenya celebrated their 100th anniversaries recently. Currently in 16 countries on a full presence basis, Standard Chartered's footprints address 97% of Sub-Saharan Africa's GDP of approximately $1.3 trillion, offering broad-based financial services where we have a full subsidiary or branch presence and providing transaction coverage. We are all aware that the last few years has been tumultuous for the financial services sector globally. However, Despite the difficult global economic backdrop, the turmoil in our industry and our challenges, Standard Chartered has demonstrated consistent growth in the last decade, with 2012 being the bank's 10th year of record earnings, 10th year of double-digit income growth, and our 10th year of double-digit operating profit. Thank you. As a group, we have begun what we believe will be our next decade of consistent superior performance as we continue to diversify our income base and customer assets. The bank has also made key value-adding acquisitions, these being the acquisition of Barclays Africa Custody Business in 2010 and Specialist Africa Investment Bank First Africa, which we completed in 2009. These acquisitions have strengthened our capabilities expanded our client coverage team, and deepened our investment banking capability in key sectors such as oil and gas and metals and mining. Standard Chartered Africa has more than doubled in size in the last five years, despite market turbulence. Ten of our African markets generated an income of over $50 million in 2011, of which, of which seven generated more than $100 million, and Africa, within the Standard Chartered Bank Group, represents 9% of the group's profit before tax. Underpinning the bank's growth trajectory are the quality and depth of our people. Standard Chartered Bank is a great place to work, enabling individuals to grow, talent to thrive, and teams to win. This is based on three pillars, our culture and values, our diversity and inclusion, and our strengths-based people development. We have a very diversified African team 
of nearly 8,000 people in the Africa region, representing about 9% of the global staff strength. Africa continues to provide valuable talent also for the group. More recently, the highly coveted inaugural Sir John Peace Chairman's Award for the most innovative individual who embodies a superior demonstration of the bank's brand promise of being here for good was won by Reyunga Kazara, who's here with me today. <laughs> Reyunga comes from Tanzania, and he won this award for his work on building a network of Africans in the bank's diaspora. Africans in the diaspora, like Reyunga and others, have continued to make positive bold marks across the global network of the bank. As the Africa franchise is present in the most vibrant and dynamic markets, right at the heart of the economic shift from west to east, Standard Chartered remains a valuable source of talent for Africa's banking sector. Six Kenyan banks, four Tanzanian banks, and two Ghanaian banks all have CEOs who are ex-Standard Chartered. But we are not complacent, and we understand that as the market grows, our business will need to evolve and grow with it in order to maintain its, its advantage position. With a macro outlook that is already strong and strengthening, we have ambitious investment plans in Africa over the next few years. Looking forward, the future drivers of growth are hugely promising, both for Africa and Standard Chartered's areas of excellence. Agri-finance, the new Africa consumer, and the new South-South trade and investment flows. Over the past two years, Standard Chartered Bank Africa has upgraded a significant portion of our branch locations, and we have also decided to significantly raise the pace of our investment in our African business in order to match the vibrant local competition that we face in our footprints. Africa, in particular within the group, continues to secure investment to deploy new and enhanced technology platforms replicating some of our most successful digital models from Asia. Excuse me. Sorry, I understand that you're all a little bit hungry and this is a little bit... Um, it's, we are running a little bit late, but if you could please keep it down so that we could hear the address, that would be good. Thank you very much. I'll be done shortly. As part of our local, as part of our people agenda, Standard Chartered continues to attract key local talent and to drive our skills and leadership competency agenda through our initiative of identifying our Africa future leaders and investing in them. We will look to expand our geographic reach, establishing new onshore presences and deepening existing ones. And these include Mozambique, Senegal, Gabon, and Ethiopia at the appropriate time. Finally, the aspect of our business that means the most to us is the very essence of who we are. Our brand promise here for good is the essence of who we are as an institution. It is about sticking with our clients and customers through thick and thin, and always trying to do the right thing, whilst having a positive impact on the wider economy. We have many here for good stories to tell, and our very own Reyunga Kazara is a fine example of such. Standard Chartered Bank is a leading international group committed to building a sustainable business over the long term. We aim to lead the way in Asia, in Africa, and in the Middle East. Standard Chartered is here for our customers, here for our communities, here for our people, here for Africa, and here for good. Thank you very much for listening. <laughs>